Welcome back, welcome back to the back Goons, Goons Podcast. Podcast. Welcome back to the Goons. 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 Welcome back to the Hello, Gibson. How are you, Gibson? This is my Mexican boyfriend, Gibson. <laughs> Finally meeting your work friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we have the podcast the same time, every week on the same day. <laughs> and he still is like, <laughs> are we doing podcasts today? <laughs> every Wednesday morning. Well, I saw him morning. tweet that. That was like four hours, no, five hours ago. No, probably a bit more now. But I saw him tweeting that he was doing, uh, they were doing vocals. So honestly, he might have just stayed up all night doing... Vocals for at, his band. At like noon? Like what the fuck? I don't know, bro. I do that guy's schedule is is bewildering to me. It's an absolute mystery. So I'm unsure if like I can never tell if I see a message from Ignastia at like nine AM his time, it's either he like showing up. No, it's <laughs> either like, Wow, he's up nice and early today, or it's like, okay, he hasn't gone to bed yet and I won't see him for three days. Yeah. yeah. He's a That's stinky a mood. man. It's okay. He do be stinky. Gibson, what's your, the what's your sleep tavern. schedule like? Are you are you um, a delinquent like everyone else? Or are you actually? I'm on solid? I'm on a good sleep schedule for the most part until dude's like, hey, do you want to play Apex at two in the morning? And then my yep. sleep schedule. Y'all just fucked. be doing ape sex in the middle of the yeah. night until I'm like six or seven a.m. Yeah, you're then bad boyfriend. Dude. Fucked up. Yeah, you really are, dude. If, if you loved him, you'd support him and tell him to get eight hours of sleep at reasonable times. Fuck well, that. We got to get ranked in AP. True. No shot. You're not good at any Why video game. Why do you, you still play Apex? Apex? Can, can, can you guys see in Discord that my arm has actually disappeared? <laughs> yeah. So hold on. Can I show that? Can I show the ladies and gentlemen what happens if I uh, if I full screen do? Hold on. Let me. Let me look let me at the, look at the difference. Let me get him. Go uh, go from Mexican Gibson to white ass dude. Uh, okay. Hold on. I Our original everything. channel names. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, I mean, it was Mountain Dew Whitey. <laughs> so. Oh no. I've closed what you. Have you done, Blar? I've what have closed you done? everybody. <laughs> I've closed everybody. The people are gone. waiting. You're off the. You know what? Talk about some, talks amongst yourselves. Uh, let's talk about. Uh, uh, penis is good. Penis is great. Who, who recently has seen a dog? Uh, uh no. I <laughs> ate one for dinner the other <laughs> evening. Go when ahead. I was out amongst my travels. <laughs> okay, I broke fucking everything, so I'm not gonna touch everything, ever, anything ever again. But uh, I do made me white. Me and your dad's dick. <laughs> there you go. That's not funny. No. My dad lost his dick. Really? No. How? No. In my ass, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no. No, your ass is far God too wide. Got his ass. Guys! Can see it. Sent to rescue Guys! Team. What? Yeah. Dream did a face reveal. I know. Did. Dream did a face reveal! It looks like, uh, uh, one of the unfrosted Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I saw your tweet. I was like, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> I did it first. That guy's a bitch. Why? Why is he a bitch? Because I did like it first. Him? You what your your, your face? Fa oh, you looked like a troll face first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's he true. does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I Everyone feel bad. tweet this at Dream with no context. I <laughs> with, <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> with the Dream sexual flag behind him. Everybody, please. Yeah. Everybody tweet that at Dream. <laughs> <laughs> no context. Don't say anything. Just Dream with the Dream sexual flag. If you feel like getting spicy behind. So you. absolutely. So I wonder how the Dream sexuals feel now that they have a face to go with their their uh, mental illness. Uh, <laughs> um, bro, I don't like. I feel bad roasting him because without like the context of who he is, uh, he would just be the most like normal looking human on the planet. Like yeah. I literally have no, you know, no. Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with the way he looks. No, it looks no. Com he's completely normal. Just like a dude. dude. It's just yeah. fucking hilarious that he was like hyping shit up, like retweeting clips of his friends being like, "Bro, you're way hotter than I thought you'd be." And it's like, yeah, he, he, bro, he's he's Cringe. white bread. He, he is just a white piece of bread. It's, it's one of just my loaf. people. Yeah, he's just do. That's what dude looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was that. Yeah, the dream fell over. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. It wouldn't have been a bad if he as bad if he didn't like hype it up and like have his, his streamer just, friends gas him up. Yeah, he should have just done the damn face reveal. I feel like it is a point people react when you reveal your face. There's gonna be people just hating just because. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. So gonna, I mean, when you, you have that big of a following, you're gonna get roasted yeah. no matter what because it's just a funny little meme. Yeah, it was you could be Brad funny. Pitt, and people are gonna be like, "Oh, he's so ugly." Oh Twitter at that time was fucking hilarious to look oh, at because everyone yeah, was funny. just like making fun of him and tweeting funny shit. And I didn't like—I wasn't on Twitter for a little while, so I, I was kind of late to it. 
But I saw how everyone's tweets that were uh, tweeting about, like, Dream looked like Crimson Chin, Dream looked like blah, blah, blah. I was President like, you know Chan? Uh, the Crimson Chin. Oh, my like, like said President North Korea's Chan. Emperor. Like, he looked like Kim Jong-un. But every tweet, <laughs> every tweet was blowing up. And I was like, you know what? I want to see how fucking good of a tweet I can get from some dumb shit. And I just tweeted, yeah. Dream kind of looked like Obama. And I'm pretty sure it got like 10,000 likes. And I was yeah, like, I, literally, I went easy, on, like, tweeted farm. two things about it, and then just dipped. And I was like, that's the most easy farming I think I've ever done on a social media platform. It's, just, it's so easy to meme it. But yeah, I, I, I did feel kind of bad, because at the end of the day, that is just a guy. I mean, I, I fucking so hate his content. Dude. His fan base is like the most annoying Ooh. little iPad-looking, wet-sleeved little fuckers on the planet. But they're just... I feel bad, because he's just a dude. But at the same time, those those were just... It was too funny to not join in. Why does Dream get the pass, though? Because, like, you know how Minecraft communities are with super, like, cancel culture shit? Because he's, like, literally said the N-word in the past. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Have why you, is uh, he allowed to get away with that? Hold on. But, like, have you, <laughs> because his fan base is retarded? <laughs> yeah, but literally. He just <laughs> so didn't know he stupid. was white until a couple days ago, so. <laughs> true. There's true. no way you can <laughs> listen to that for. voice and go, yeah, this is a person of color. Have you, have you spoke to Who's Chaos? That's yeah. true. Well, I have. That's factual. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know Chaos was black for like the longest time. Yeah. Do you remember how many people thought Mixed Black was black? Do you yeah. guys, like when we first started doing face cam podcasts, everyone thought McNasty would be black for some reason. <laughs> I don't know if he's got black eye vibes, but yeah, I he don't know. I mean, no one knew I was Mexican, so. I, mean, I didn't know you were Mexican. Well, yeah, Mexicans like... I don't, I, dude, I don't, it's weird. It's weird to guess people's races by their voice. Because, like, I'm going to be honest, the only way I'd think you're Mexican by your voice is, like, if you talk like Droid does when he's angry. Like, Elastic <laughs> Droid, where he's just yelling all sorts of things in Spanish that I just Fair. don't know what's happening. Well, like, see, yeah, I'm racist, way, and I just but... assume every Mexican sounds like George Lopez, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's reasonable. That's extremely reasonable. It's, it's well-founded, logical, uh. Reasoning there, Soup. Anyone have anything exciting going on? Yes. What's that? I've gathered some berries from my travels. Let's see your gatherings. Where did you travel to? Let's see the harvest. I've traveled long and far to bring gifts to you during this Halloween what season. You, what's, what? I still Is have it? medieval music playing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I can tell. You're immersed as hell right now. If you guys want to experience this podcast Is it a quiver? Okay, what is this? It is a Behold <laughs> my sack of goods. <laughs> what do you have? What I is in the sack gifts. of goods, buddy? We can trade Smell today. The aroma. It's like some cheap Chinese leather. It's folding over itself. <laughs> I have one fret wrap. What will you barter for oh, this today? What do I have in here, do you say? Yes. Oh. One shitty sponsor plug. <laughs> Whoa! Use code goons! But wait, uh, that is not uh, all. There's more? We, we have an assortment of goods for you this evening. Are they more? An all of which will kill you. <laughs> That's Some crazy. poison anyway, for your goons. travels. Code goons. But mm -hmm. wait. Oh, wait, can I show this yet? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you showed it now. <laughs> Editor, blur this. <laughs> <laughs> It's a penis. Talk amongst <laughs> yourselves while I gather the gifts. <laughs> what are you, bro? It's not what that deep in there? in there. What are you reaching for? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't lying. He's got berries. <laughs> are those berries or grapes? Berry? Oh, oh. I've thought about this the, from my you're testicles. Like the POV stemmy before. parts. <laughs> POV me to my grandpa's balls when he falls asleep. <laughs> True. <laughs> what you do when you? What happens when you fall asleep first at the sleepover? By the way. <laughs> that, that was good, you. big guy. You enjoy the grapes, buddy? That was good. It's like good. Don't spit those. Oh, <laughs> your quiver is gonna God. smell bad now. No. It has like experience worse. <laughs> I don't like that you put the <laughs> microwave. <laughs> what? What's in there? <laughs> Nasty ass and medieval dude. No, that's just wine in there now. He chewed it up enough. It's all right. Making a smoothie. <laughs> is that butter? Am I looking at butter? What is oh, this? Nathan's hot dogs? That's a hot dog, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what infomercial what am I watching? What are you supposed <laughs> to do right now? Show me the life hack. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just have like a fever dream last night before bed and just like are reenacting it now on stream? Yeah? 
This mime show is weird. <laughs> Pick your flavor, gentlemen. Oh, no. I, I would like the paint scraping tool. I would like that flavor. Get some metal shavings off of it. <laughs> oh. I don't like how that's wiggling. Can you do that to my <laughs> cock? <cost? laughs> All right, let me get like the, how, the rust off of here. I don't like how flaccid that hot dog is. I feel like I like a little more sustenance to my dog. These are good the, dogs. Uh, the Spotify listener's real confused right now. <laughs> okay, all right, oh yeah, let me explain it. Soup is wearing uh, a medieval uh, suit, <laughs> dipping a hot dog inside uncooked. of G-Subs. Uncooked, uncooked hot dog hot into dog. G-Subs. Important detail. Uh, he also ate a bunch of grapes and then spit them back into the quiver where the hot dogs were made. Uh, he's, oh, oh that's so God. much. There's a lot of G-Subs that's on a so hot much dog. G-subs. Don't eat that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> okay. look at that. Don't do it. Don't oh, eat, yeah. don't. No balls. I gotta get it all over the thing. Hold on. Go wait. Do you have a barbecue? Go cook it. Oh <laughs> right my now. god. Go cook it live. On Dude, podcast. Dude, the YouTube bots is gonna, is gonna think I'm snorting cocaine <laughs> off of a fucking like, hot dog. This snorting is cocaine off of a dick. <laughs> uh, just snorting coke off a boner. POV. Jesus. Now this is oh, how yeah, you get your in. daily gamer nutritional value. This is how you die of cancer. This is a part of the ad. This is this it's is like what gave, this is literally what gave my mom breast cancer that you're watching right now. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> my <laughs> dick after my uncle's done. With it. <laughs> oh my, my god. My war paint. Oh, more to add to my you collection. You have enough war paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a carcinogen. Use code goons, motherfuckers. He has eaten the hot dog for the viewers oh on Spotify. Oh my god. That is disgusting. Us, describe that. Describe that for us real quick. Nice Chester. I'm like that kind of chewing. <laughs> Dude, there's like red pouring out of your mouth. It kind of <laughs> tastes like a... A fucking... Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> imagine if you... Chewed up a Slim Jim. <laughs> okay. Spit it into Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. Left it in there for a little while and just ate the Slim Jim. That's I can't literally imagine what that. you did. <laughs> you put a hot dog inside G Sups and then ate the hot dog. The raw and hot dog. And not just ate the hot dog. You ate half the glizzy in one, <laughs> in one bite. bite. Nine <laughs> out of ten, Impressive. I would eat this again. Jesus. You should barbecue one next time. Next, uh, have a plate ready before the next podcast. A traveler never has a barbecue. Look, you, you don't get this on fucking Coco Melon podcast. This is this is why you listen to the Goons podcast. Why am I still right. eating it? Yeah, we're still that, behind still them. Going so like, I, I, you can't be enjoying it that much. What? What is that? That that bite not as good, buddy. He doesn't it's like it. Enough <laughs> G subs on the hot dog. It's getting that colder. Bite. I'm gonna have to wash this down with a regular dog. I think that's dog. you dying. With a regular dog? Stop eating raw hot dogs. <laughs> I shouldn't have to tell you that. Yeah. Uh, that's dude, a lot. it's so that's brown. Better. It looks sickly. It looks ill. Hey, what's what's wrong mild, with my dog? <laughs> Stop pointing it at us. <laughs> Stop holding me a glizzy point. Bro. I'll, uh, okay, the bit's over. Editor, cut. <laughs> no. oh, oh, editor, zoom in on that. Ah, editor, put a little sound effect over. Oh my god. Ah, editor, fuck. let's get that four times on the screen. Bro, that is hell. Do you need to go wash your hands, buddy? They're really red. Oh my god, yeah. the amount of powder, dude. Show us your <laughs> cock. Show us your powdered cock. Oh, oh no, not the RGB keyboard. <laughs> I know your fingers cock. are just as dirty, so you're literally getting your webcam more dirty Jeez. by showing us the dirty. <laughs> <laughs> look at his showing fingers. You, the... you look like you ate. You're, you're like you that like... girl that eats the fucking flaming hot Cheetos at 9 a.m. at school. <laughs> ah! Do you need to wash those, or are you just gonna? I'm gonna send it. The Why do you have a paint scraper? That's a. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> you got a lot going on today, and it's freaking me out. All right. Uh, anyone else but soup have anything going on? I. I. I I'm, how do we? How do I compare? Yeah, I don't know how to that. follow that up. Like, like anything you're about to do is honestly gonna be less. I'm excited for the Mario movie. When does oh, yeah. that come out? We get to hear the voice soon. Finally. Is it uh, live action or is it animated? <laughs> it's Mario. It's animated. Okay, good. I guess that's a little bit better. <laughs> Thanks, Stu. I didn't know it was Mario or not in the Mario film. <laughs> I didn't know if he'd make an appearance. Confirmed, that's it is I'm Mario. That's why I'm on this podcast. <laughs> for the facts. Yeah, I had seen a tweet checker. that was like a preview of the... What is it? Chris Pratt's voice for the movie. And I clicked on it on stream, and it was, of course, one of those like moaning videos porn? that's like yeah. super ah! fucking loud. Yeah, uh, I just like the, the fake article. I was like, oh, Chad, look at this. <laughs> the, the fucking fake article that was like... Chris Pratt will not speak Italian in this movie. He will speak normal. 
<laughs> or no, so he said good. no. It was normal. something like, "Yeah, he, Mario's not Italian anymore. He's normal now." <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> normal. <laughs> Just a guy. <clears throat> There's Wait, been a when, lot of good memes to come out. When of did it. you say it came out? Uh, you know? The trailer comes out tomorrow. tomorrow. Do we have to do anything we can to get red red carpet premiere to that? I yes, would love please. that. I would literally shit and cream and die and fart. If anybody somehow has any sort of connection to that industry, please, we will give you anything to go to the red carpet event of the Mario movie. It would just we be could the best Jack goons Black field hostage. Trip. I honestly Can think if we just like shot Jablonsky? him a message, he'd probably be more keen than us bringing a gun to his home and doing Jack that Black probably. is Bowser. I mean, he's a yeah, gamer he boy now. Yeah, he's a gamer. His YouTube yeah. channel is actually pretty uh, pretty entertaining. He's yeah. also Bowser. Podcast. He's Bowser in the movie. Yeah, he is Bowser on the, yeah. in the movie. Now I would like to see it as a live action. Like I, I'm excited for uh, I'm excited for Seth Rogen as, as uh, Donkey Kong. As Donkey Kong, I think that'll be I think that'll be uh, <laughs> an interesting <laughs> yeah, combination. It's of things they actually yeah. couldn't have picked a better Luigi for like Charlie Day. I think is yeah. going to be the most perfect fucking Luigi in the world. That cast he literally is looks so like Luigi. The cast is unreal. <laughs> He does like, look like a every Luigi. character looks like they're yeah. like what about looks Key? like uh, he looks like fucking Toad. Yeah, does he not? Like, well, yeah, I don't know if he looks that much like Toad, but dude, I can't wait to hear it. if if his voice is it. I am a Toad. I'm fucking getting a refund. I hope he just, just talks like normally. Like, hey guys, what's up? I'm Toad. I hope he dude, makes Toad. Yeah, toad. I he, yeah, I hope he makes Toad sound like a brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah a motherfucker brother. in the Mushroom Kingdom, blood. What's good, homie? I don't think he's gonna say blood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Toad will be a blood or crip in this film. They're they're fucking red and blue, dude, and yellow. <laughs> what? You look like you're having a conspiracy episode where you're just like having a schizophrenic attack. <laughs> you look like you you were part of the insurrection on the White House. <laughs> Is that a new tavern in town, the White House? <laughs> I have not been there yet. Sounds uh. pricey. I may not have enough shekels. Oh, you'll be all right. You just get a couple guns, couple homies. You'll be right in there. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to break into one of the most secure places in the country. So. Uh, apparently. Uh, anyway, do Gibson, are you guys working on anything together? I know y'all do a bunch of music. I feel like we should talk more about Gibson, seeing as we have him on yeah, the podcast. I realized I forgot to introduce you. Oh, hello. Uh, so, so this is Gibson. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he does a similar type of content that I do. He's a musician, singer, songwriter. He's done a bunch of Omegle shit, a bunch of Black Ops shit. That's Handsome. actually where we met. Yeah. Was back in the day. Mexican <clears throat> as fuck. Does Handsome. it better than you? Does it better than me? Shows his face. Shows true. his face. Hey, Hotter, bigger dick confirmed. Mm, probably. And uh, so You're yeah, really thirsty, buddy. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> G -Subs I just consumed a G Subs covered hot dog. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's reasonable. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, hi, well, properly welcome, Gibson. Uh, you oh, working on anything, anything cool, anything interesting? I know you and Do, uh, always put out fucking songs together, and we were supposed to do a song a long time ago, but I'm a bad yes. friend, so, you know. Uh, you guys are all very busy. I mean, yes. I don't know if you know how long it took for me and him to make that song. I have no idea. But it was, it was, it was, uh, clo it, close to two years. Two years? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Well, like, how it's much of that was, like, time. I was gonna say, how much of that was actually, like, full-on work mode versus, like, yeah, we'll get to it, like, back burner type stuff? A couple months, Mostly probably, of actual burner, work. Yeah. Okay, that's still a fuck ton of time. I mean, yeah. dude, you were trying yeah. to learn, because you, did you do any, uh, hard vocals on that, dude? Because I know you were yeah, trying I, to learn them, like, for I that did, purpose. Uh, I, most of it was just, like, normal, like, Hallelujah, you know, yeah. type stuff. Yeah, yeah. But some of the higher notes were uh, were like more gritty type stuff. So I yeah. learned how to do that. Okay, he did the gritty. He did yeah. the gritty mm. on the song. I'd be hitting the gritty in the music. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Gibson, your uh, your screaming vocals have improved like crazy the last Thank couple you. of years. Like since yeah, we met, two so years. I remember ago. like a couple of years ago, you were you were like <laughs> decently comfortable with them. Yeah. Um, but you weren't like in love with them or anything, and you like didn't do too many of them, but. Every time I see you post something with them now, it's fucking, it's, Thank you. it's yeah, insane. I've, I've I've put a lot more time into, like, getting better at that and trying to, like, branch out on doing stuff other than, like, acoustic sad boy stuff. Yeah, yeah you came from a similar circle as me, sort of, like, really soft voice type yeah. stuff. So I remember when you started screaming, your fans were like, what the titty <laughs> shit is this? Yeah. 
Well, that's uh, why I want to get you to a point where you can like lay down some screams on a track so people can just be like even yeah. more blown away. What yeah. the titty fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they can. It's say hard the though, fuck. man. Like, no, like people who think that screaming is just like it doesn't take any talent. Like, no, dude. There's like 19 parts of the throat that yeah. you can like yeah. control <laughs> independently to change your voice. Shit's yeah. wild. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It literally like probably <laughs> took me like two years to even be able to do it like while working with somebody who does know what they're doing it was probably like a two-year yeah. process at least yeah. before like because you could do it before like if you really want to just like force noise out of your throat you can make it happen but you're literally gonna feel like you, you just ate a glizzy covered in g-subs after like your throat's just gonna be <laughs> fucked can't confirm um, i've done both <laughs> so to like <laughs> to actually be able to have it like be sustainable and sound yeah. good especially in like a live condition because anyone can sound fine recorded if you do like 200 right. takes, surely one of them is going to sound good. But to be able to like perform like well live with like any sort of vocal like that, like whether it's something more metalcore like you're into or like something like Soup does, it's fucking tough, man. That shit is like extremely tough to navigate you, and stick do you with. You do more like false chord stuff, Soup? Uh, honestly, I or have no more like technique. Yeah, he he does just, he does more false chord stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, I just I just try and make it come from like down in here and not my throat. Cause that like is, that's good. diaphragm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you diaphragm. just want to use nothing but diaphragm. Diaphragm. Yep. Whenever I started my band, it was uh, me and my friend Brady, and we didn't really have like we knew we wanted to be in a band, but we didn't know like who was gonna do what mm -hmm. kind of. Because I've always wanted to be a rhythm guitar player. That was just something I was always into, and now I'm the bass player and singer. <laughs> so like we kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah big shift. Um, Quite a shift. And he was doing like drums for a while, and now he's the lead guitar player. So we, Wait, so really? we I didn't know he started chairs drums. with all the instruments. I mean, that's kind of sick that like between you guys, you, like if you really didn't want anyone else, you guys could easily just do like that get all your own discovery. songs, just you two, and then have people like come perform sh shit with you, like have yeah, like well, performing yeah. artists in, in the studio. Whenever we went, um, I mean, me and him basically did everything. Like we, yeah. We would take turns doing rhythm stuff, then he would do the lead stuff, or I would do a lead thing, and then I would go get on the bass, and then he would go get on the drums, and then I'd go do the vocals. So we're, like, just running around yeah. doing all this shit. Because, I mean, we know what we want, but, like, finding <clears throat> finding people that are kind of into the same thing, but also in South Carolina, not really an, an easy task because no one around here. Like, you'll you'll find people who, like, like play guitar. They're like, oh, yeah, I play guitar, and they... They can play like a D chord, and that's really I feel all they attacked. Know. Mm. So, yeah, very very attacked. <laughs> Call it a day. Yeah. So finding someone <laughs> that's into the same thing as you is tough, but then finding someone who's, you know, as talented or more talented than you and can make your band better is even tougher. So yeah. yeah. Well, back in the day, that's why not the talented part. That's why I wasn't able to have bands because nobody could agree on the genre. Yeah, that was yeah. literally yeah. like what forced me and like my old band part is like. We all want it. We are all like the same bigger genre, like the bigger part of it. But like, then you can break down a genre into so many like different subcategories. Yeah. Like, if you just say like, for example, like metalcore, that could mean fucking mm -hmm. 2011 asking Alexandria, or that could mean like current Parkway Drive. Like, they're just completely different sounding things that are all technically under the same like umbrella. But it's just like, I don't know. It, it's so tough to find like people that are all into the same thing and don't have creative differences. I feel like that's like one of the main things that separate bands from like that work and just end up doing nothing. It's a lot right? of ego. A lot of ego is the big oh problem. Oh my god, bro! There is so <laughs> many egos in the music industry for people that are making like three dollars by yearly. They their egos are just fucking insane in the music yeah. industry for no reason at all. And it just comes like what? a little cock showing contest where everyone's just trying to shred over each other and it's like, okay, this is this is fun. Really That's awesome. I'm glad I just work with uh, John Sil John Silky, the other person that was on the song with us, because yeah. he's an insane producer, and we're not less necessarily like a band or anything together. But I'm like, hey, I want to make a song that sounds like this. He's like, all right, cool, I'll whip something up, and then it's just that simple. Rather than like yeah. having a group of people that all need to right. agree on something. Yeah, yeah it's, that's, it's that, that makes tough. life a lot easier. Dude, what are you putting out new solo stuff, brother? Uh. I don't really have any plans right now. It's just because, like, it's so. I was gonna. I was gonna say this earlier. It's like it's the reason why that song took us so long to get done. It's just because, like, it, it's it, all your fault. 
You're busy it looking is at actually, dicks all day. It's, it's, it's literally my fault, yes. Because it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to- <laughs> Dude, Gibson had his shit done so, oh, I so believe long that. before mine. I believe that. But, the- <laughs> but, right, but, <laughs> but it, it was a blessing in disguise because it, since it, because it took my ass a year to get my shit done, his screaming got so much better yeah. that the song benefited a lot from it. So you're fucking welcome. Yeah. Thank but, you uh, for making my screaming get better. <laughs> no, when Gibson and I were going to do a song, I was like, it was right when I moved into my house and I might have been a little over ambitious thinking like I would have the time to do that or like let alone properly. <laughs> So I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm, I'm super down. Let's, let's do it. And like, he sent me, he literally what were you sent me do? like, were you going to do vocals or, or yeah. what? Yeah, it was, I'd do vocals on it. Um, I think we just split vocals and then, yeah. So is he finds music for us to go over, has everything written for him, has recorded demos for himself. And I'm like, yeah, like man, I'm going to work on, uh, I'm going to work on lyrics, you know, when I can, I'm just, it'll, it might be a bit, but I'm going to try my best to get it to it. Literally, like, a month later, he just DMs me. He's like, hey, bro, wrote your lyrics for you. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, brother, I, I want to write my own, but goddamn, I'm just, I, I, I just can't do it right now. We will do it eventually. I think that'll be super fucking fun. It's just, it's so tough to, like, bite off so many things, especially because music yeah, is yeah. such, like, in a sense, like, a very intimate thing because you're, like, you're writing mm-hmm. everything and you're kind of putting it out there. And I yeah. haven't... I don't have anything even publicly out, I don't think. I think all my old band stuff is all fucking nuked. People ask um, about it. People always want to know, like, where your music is that you've done. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, 90% sure it's all nuked. I know my old PC, which is literally right next to me, uh, has a ton, a ton of our old shit. Like, all sorts of demos we did and all sorts of, like, covers and shit that we recorded as a band. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, because I, I don't have anything else, like, out there, I felt like if I really wanted to do one thing, like, wanted to put some music out there i'd really want to actually be able to put proper time into it yeah well Otherwise, i mean that's the thing is like you guys you guys make a whole bunch of other kind of content mine is yeah like primarily music based and yeah definitely more like original like based yeah. whereas yeah. you said you don't have like anything actually publicly out there so that no makes sense yeah yeah no. that's that's my biggest problem is having like too many irons in the pot ba- essentially is that you know i i gotta I gotta keep up with like Omega. I gotta keep up with like gameplay shit, and so it's hard to find the time back. Sitting actually make on proper music. Dubra's lap, watching Survivor, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> watching Survivor every you night. Got it, baby. <laughs> no, I get, I get it. It makes sense. Yeah, it's it's kind of boo boo ass. Do you have like a, a a process now that helps you write like as fast as you do? Like when you when you go to write something, do you like pick a a, a song first that you kind of want to go for, like a vibe, or do you just grab like a guitar and try to strum chords and find something, or do you write lyrics and then like what do you what's your process? Because you, you uh, seem to write shit, like, incredibly fast. Yeah, yeah, usually I have some sort of, like, subject in mind. Once I have a subject <clears throat> in mind, then I can kind of go from there. And, like, throughout the days, I'll, like, have, like, one-liners that I okay. think are clever or whatever. I'll write it down and then kind of write around it and make everything match. But um, I don't really write, like, guitar or anything anymore. I just find type beats on YouTube yeah. or have no, makes sense. Uh, yeah. our friend, like, make instrumentals for us and stuff. Soup, how, how different is that from, like, what you guys do when you guys write? Uh, we have a pretty weird way of doing I mean, it's not weird. Like, sometimes it really just depends on, on what we want to do. Like, sometimes we'll all three, like, be in a room together and we'll, like, come up with something. And, you know, a lot of our music is guitar-centered. So, mm-hmm. like, so it, most of the times it'll be like a, yeah, Guitar Center. Most of our music is written in Guitar Center. They fucking hate it. <laughs> we steal it from the <laughs> We use all their equipment. 24-hour challenge in Guitar Center. <laughs> Usually it'll start with a fucking riff or something, and then we'll, like, build off of that riff, and it's like, okay, well, where can we go from here? But, like, sometimes I'll sit down just, like, by myself at the computer, and I'll, like, come up with a riff, and then I'm like, okay. And I have, uh, like, the program drums, so I'll mm-hmm. go, and I, I have, like, the groove packs from uh, Get Good Drums and all that, and I'll go through, and I'll put, like, patterns or whatever that I like, yeah. and then I'll, you know, record some shit, and then I'll, like, show it to my other bandmates, and I'll tell my drummer, like, you can change whatever you want, like, with the drums, just kind of keep it in that same, like, BPM, so it's, like, the same tempo, mm-hmm. but... uh fucking gnat just like suicide bombed into me I <laughs> smell the g-subs <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the sugar sure. all over my fucking hands or wait is there sugar in g-subs i don't know no no, no, sugar, sugar, no sugar. sugar zero sugar zero, zero sugar. sugar zero calories all caffeine all crack all heart disease 
Yeah, baby. Oh, but uh, sometimes it's weird. Like I'll, I'll uh, like me or or Brady will write like a full song, and then sometimes I'll like sit down to put lyrics on it, mm-hmm. and I'm like, fuck, I honestly have no idea what I could do. <laughs> and I will we'll be like, well, fuck it, scrap the song. We've done that so many times. It's like we've written a whole song and just been like, well, we don't know what to write work anything already. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like I haven't sense. been depressed enough in life to that's have true. a lot of good lyrics to come f- to pull from. Because, yeah. like, I've, I've had a pretty good life. I've never been depressed. And Gibson's over here just like, no, I got this. And he I just guess. cranks out. So I like, have yeah. plenty of depression to pull from. <laughs> well, that's why, like, when He's we started writing this song, I was like, what can, we, what can we both relate to? <laughs> right. Influencer type shit. Well, I like our to... our parents still together, you know? That's... <laughs> Sometimes what I like to do, because, uh, you know, I mean, I don't have a shitty life or anything like that, so I can't... I mean, there are obviously times where life hasn't been good, and I'll write shit about that, but, like, I'll, I'll try and, like, put myself in somebody else's shoes and kind of, like, yeah. try and write from right. their perspective about something, which is kind of <sighs> fun to do. Yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there's a band. They're not, like, a really a metal band or anything. They're I don't even know what to consider them. Back in the day, they were kind of, like, I don't like some post-hardcore type style, but uh, Law Dispute. They have oh, an entire yeah. album uh I think it's, it was Wildlife, I think it was, mm-hmm. where the entire album is like different like, like that. It's different stories like from different people's perspectives. And it's not my favorite like genre of music, but it's so fucking cool. Like there's yeah. uh, the one song, King Park. King Park, it's like, yes. Yeah, that song's insane. It's about, uh, it's about he's from Michigan, and uh, he's, it was about a gang shooting, like a drive-by shooting, um, but uh, he missed and shot some like innocent kid. And then the dude, like, puts himself up in a hotel room and, like, the police are trying to breach it and shit and then he ends up shooting himself. And the fucking, the, like, way they tell the story is so fucking cool. It's such a good song. It absolutely bangs. But, yeah, that's, like, that idea is always super cool. I love I've that never idea. got Just, into, like, like, storytelling. That's I feel like it's though. hard. There's a, another band, Defeater, does that, but they've told, like, the yeah. same fucking story, like, 16 <laughs> different albums now. Yeah. Like, do you, you know Defeater? Yeah. Yeah, dude, a, I think we grew up in the same like Tumblr era yeah, kind yeah, of music. I think so so. Huh? I was, there's uh, a there's an sorry, old metal band, like an old heavy metal band from uh, South Carolina. They're still around. They're called Nile. They're like really old school, and I'm pretty sure they only. And I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they only write about Egyptian stuff. Really, like that's huh. their their that's only thing dope. they they write about. Niche, I'm pretty sure, but cool niche. Yeah, that's fucking. I don't think I, don't think I, I wrote a song about Kirby. Like was it when he like ate the car or what was it was the vibe? I, I don't. <laughs> there was the some. There's yeah. There was something about um s- about sucking something, so sucking I'm me up or something. I don't know. Night, Kirby. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> no, we. Uh, I remember you talking about you guys did that like song in an hour thing. Oh, the, Are you the thing about on the, Goons Gaming. Let yeah. me eat that ass. <laughs> that would yeah. be that would be sick to do with with us and make like a badass like metal song or something in an hour. I'm yeah, totally down. That would, so that I want to be a good time. Screams on it. Yeah, I'm gonna I make that into a more keen on that. series. <laughs> That'd be fun. That That'd be fun. super easy because then, it, then like lyrics don't matter because everyone knows you did right. it in like an hour. You just yeah. be doing whatever the fuck. You just be doing it for fun. Like that would. I feel like that'd be a yeah. lot easier to like be comfortable no putting pressure. it out there. Yeah, yeah, zero pressure. Just well, well. Sometimes yeah. that's how the best result will come out. That you is know, true. If you sit there and overthink stuff, my problem. Then you just like usually you'll end up like creating something worse or you won't create anything at all you just overthink yeah. the whole thing like what, what i have what? go ahead oh, oh oh i'm sorry i was just going to add to your point what i found is that you a lot of times your first idea that you think is bad ends up actually being one of your best yeah yep. that's yeah. the problem with overthinking but go ahead i was going to say like i think i've told the story before i know i've told you guys uh uh we have a song called mean it and literally yeah. Yeah, i wrote banger. the song i wrote the song and like 40 fucking minutes. I mean, it's literally open three, five. Like, it's like fucking smoke on the water, but in drop C. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, it's just dun, 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 dun. I mean, it's about as basic as you can get it. But I was like really amped up on fucking caffeine. And I was just like, I want to write an angry, fast, like oh, yeah. mean song. And literally, like, the chorus is just like, fuck you. And I mean it. And people yeah. love it. And then, like, yeah. It's, it's so, like, corny. But I it's. Mean, yeah. People, people it's like, overcomplicate it's, it. it. It's corny, yeah. but I was like, it sounds kind of cool, and I think people will like it. And I, I think it's one of our biggest songs now. Yeah. I mean, is, that's overall, one of my favorites that you have. Overall, the vibe is way more important than any sort of music technicality. Yep. So, 
Yeah, like, I mean, unless you're like, unless friend. you're shooting for a vibe like Polyphia, where your whole shtick is just being right. insane, Seinfeld. like every band member being fucking insane at their instrument. Unless you're like that, like, yeah, you could you could make an insane song with like, like Soup said, zero three five. Like you can make like whatever the fuck it is. You could make an insanely good song as long as you like know what you want and everyone you know is on the same page. And writing have it. fun. Have yeah. fun. There's a lot of bands yep. that they just don't know how to have fun anymore. Everyone's so like serious. Take themselves they seriously. They and then there's like an that, does, Lord. That, that does their music video in somebody's backyard with Shrek masks and all sorts of <laughs> yeah. fucking nonsense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, baby. I mean, we have like serious shit, but I mean, everyone in the band is like a fucking goofball yeah. and a knucklehead and a McSpazitron. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so like, we don't, not everything has to be like, yeah, we're a metal band and we're here to kick ass and and fucking drink beer. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Speaking of uh, <clears throat> of, of of being a little goofball, why did you call me yesterday while you're shitting in a Mexican restaurant? Oh, I was gonna do a I Fortnite I dance. I thought I smelled something. You were gonna do a Fortnite <laughs> dance while FaceTiming me in a Mexican restaurant. I thought. Wait, were you shitting? I thought you said you were shitting. No, I was pitting. Oh, you were just pitting and FaceTiming. I was, I was driving, and Danielle's like, "Oh, she was FaceTiming." Uh, we should answer, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, we should not answer while I'm driving because I know I'm gonna get in a wreck looking over it and doing something <laughs> yeah. fucking wild." Imagine wrecking your car and killing your your girlfriend because of a, a soup doing over race there race on the phone. Yeah. And you're like still bleeding out. Doesn't and stop dancing just, either. The cops like pick up your phone. He's still. <laughs> 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 oh, was, oh man! I was I was worried it was something important. That's that's why I called back immediately <laughs> as soon not. as I got inside, and then I was just like, "Oh, there's him and Brandon." What? Why, why did you... Brandon look so upset? He just looked so confused that he was there. He looked like a scared Brandon. Is like, always, like, Brandon like you is just always dragged a rabbit. <laughs> what do you think the first guy thought to take a shit was happening in his butthole? I what what, what, what would you think if you didn't know what shitting was? And it you think happened? he tried to put it back? Like he was worried that like a, something came out of his body that was important. <laughs> like like one of his organs. Yeah, like, like <laughs> yeah. If, if, you, if, you, if you suddenly backed your car away and there was a bolt <clears> where you <throat> left your car, surely you'd try to find where to put that bolt back, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, is that what happened with Poo? <laughs> um, surely there was some like DNA already in his brain that told That's... him that was okay. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know like, that if, I if naturally we, knew to shit though. Like somebody had to teach me to shit. I don't know about no, that. No, you well, if we came from for, gorillas, you had perfect shit since birth. If we yeah. came from gorillas, <laughs> like wouldn't our instinct be to throw it? What what made us along the way lose the instinct to throw our shit at other people? That's probably what I mean. chemical I, be, warfare or bio warfare. Like that's that's, a myth. that's how people die. <laughs> that's how people die. You just Shut actually up, wait. That was a thing. Uh, what was it? Fucking. Um, what are I forget what army it was. I don't know if it was Persian, but they used to literally so throw their shit and dead bodies over the walls of uh, places they wanted to invade, so that they would give them diseases. So they literally used Catch to cover me like standing with my mouth yeah, wide like, open at the like, bottom of the wall. Back in my day, in medieval <laughs> yeah, times, when everyone day. had everyone had the bubonic AIDS. Yeah, they, they would literally take, smear they would take the bodies in a, on a corpse. Well, they would do that, but they would take the oh. the pl or the the bodies of the people that died from the Black Plague. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, yeah, they catapults and like yeah, throw them. those over too. <laughs> we need to bring that back. Everyone that has <laughs> monkeypox, like, just like just, sling them over a wall at people. If I hear so one person cough on. near me with COVID, I'm just gonna put them in a fucking trebuchet. <laughs> yeah, put them in a catapult and just <laughs> gone, <laughs> gone forever. <laughs> Don't want to see you. Get out of my face. That's kind God, of genius. The times were so much better back then when you could just. Shower in your own <laughs> shit water catapults. every three yeah, before months. human rights existed. <laughs> yeah, bring honestly, back. bring me back. I would. I threw I up don't bring me back to this. You, you what? What was that? I threw. I threw up in the backyard yesterday. Are you Why? a dog? What do you? What happened? You eat too much glass. I, I was hungry and I accidentally ate plastic. Dude, you're actually like a golden retriever as a human being. <laughs> I think you might have. A disability, <laughs> genuinely. I do go around. How do you accidentally eat plastic? You just find a Lego on the floor and just think, oh, it could be candy or it could be a Legos. Legos we'll do look out. delicious. They do look delicious, they, but they it wasn't don't look a Lego. That bad. What was it? I, dude, so I was making scrambled hogs and I yeah, <laughs> and I cracked the egg and I was like, I don't, I don't know what to put this egg in to scramble it. So I just grabbed a red Solo cup and I cracked the egg and I put it in the red Solo cup and I was mm -hmm. like. I'm going to use butter knife to scramble egg. 
And so okay. I stuck the butter knife in the solo cup, and I, you know. <laughs> yeah, and you yeah. have to make those noises because the eggs won't turn out as good. Yeah, but, uh, you gotta scare so, him, scare him into submission. <laughs> and I poured them into the frying pan, and I was like looking at the solo cup, and I was looking inside of it, and I was like, that doesn't really look right. Like you know how the inside is usually white. Yeah. Well, I mm-hmm. guess the knife had scraped. Oh my! The God. inside whenever whenever I was like you know, <laughs> and so uh, the the like white part I guess of the of this cup had come off in the eggs. Cause it was just oh. like red. It was. It just looked like red inside of the cup, and I was like, "Uh, I don't know. Maybe this cup was just defective." So I was, it was like, "Fuck it, whatever." And I put the eggs in there, you know, and I'm scrambling them, and I sit down to eat, and they were like, they didn't taste the greatest, but like they weren't like, "Oh, I'm not gonna fucking eat this shit." You know what I mean? So I just ate some eggs. I didn't eat all of them because I was like, mm, mm, I don't know, microplastics. Yeah, my my brain wasn't really thinking about plastic, and then I just went about my day, mm-hmm. and I'm walking around, you know, doing my thing, thanking my thing, and then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, <laughs> stummy stummy ache, and I go out in the backyard and I puke. Yeah, I like that you went to the backyard instead of like going to a a toilet or like finding a bowl. Dude, throwing yeah, I don't, up throwing up outside is op. I don't think I've ever. No, that's a lie. I've thrown up outside. Okay. I've thrown up outside before, yeah. I've yeah, never I... been outside. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's, that's sad. Outside. I used to go that's outside sad, before sure. RuneScape was invented, and then Bro. that's when it all changed. <clears throat> Fucking True. Smitty started playing RuneScape on his phone while we were in Toronto with all the boys. That's oh, why that's, that's how why you I was, know That's why I was asking you, you know it's bad. about all of your uh, all your RuneScape lore. And he was trying to figure out. I think he was he was going after uh, teak trees. I think and I, he kept making mm. me empty his inventory. Of teak oh, tree good, things. good. That's that's actually worse than my addiction's ever been. I've never passed my phone to somebody else and said, "Hey, the XP grind never yeah, stops." Yeah, no, he'd, he'd, be like, he'd be like like a steakhouse. Like we went to a restaurant called Butcher Chef in Toronto, and it's like a really good steakhouse. We had all the boys there, and I just as we we're gonna order, I just a little phone slide across and hey man, can you empty the teak trees? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I got you. Sure thing. Yeah. Awesome. To be fair, Puffer, uh, Pezzy, and Droid Pokemon are fucking Go. obsessed with Pokemon Go, bro. Like, mm-hmm. how was that? How was hanging obsessed. out? With them? I asked it was him a great. Bit uh, I got uh, Dirty D was here. Was right. Was right there. That was Droid. Uh, Droid and Puffer mm. slept in my house. Grizzy <laughs> didn't fucking tell me that he did a little little trolling on my whiteboard, and we went live uh, the first night they were here, just like before bed, just for fun, um, and. There was a, a game of Hangman right there, except like Grizzy put the head on and a little bit of the body, and on the Hangman thing, he, all he, the only letters he had was N, oh. space G, space space, <laughs> uh, space, <laughs> and and it was just there behind me, and we were streaming and stuff, and I I looked back and I just noticed the the almost oopsie daisy on my whiteboard. And that was uh, Don't that blame was, it on Grizzy Blarg. It was already there. All right, so me and my dad were having a game of Hangman, and I forgot the light <laughs> off. I'm sorry, but yeah, no, it was fun. Uh, it was their first time. They came down to here, uh, like where we live. We're about four hours away from Toronto. They came here. Uh, we picked them up in Detroit. Um, did some fun little driving. Made them eat pizza from here because their pizza sucks, apparently. And then, uh, yeah, they just went to Toronto and. Got really drunk every night and ate good food, and that was a bit about it. Honestly, Sounds nothing lovely, nothing super Fuck, yeah. exciting. I feel like everyone just kind of wanted a little, a little break from things. No. So yeah, they just came down oh, that's for like plenty, no bro. good reason. I and feel then, like when uh, I hang out with my friends, I just go get good food. Yeah, yep. honestly, that's like that's the best fucking thing in hanging out with friends. And go to um, Absolutely. But yeah, and then uh, the last night was really fun. They all came back to here again, and we rented out a bar, and. All of like our friends, like me and uh, Smitty's local friends, came, and then they came, and uh, we introduced two friend groups to each other, and just hung out in the bar, got hammered, and then tried to go to a casino, and uh, yes, and then we couldn't get in though because fucking Droid left his wallet on top of a car, so he didn't have a wallet. <laughs> this was like weeks ago, apparently before he came, so he didn't have any actual ID, didn't have his passport on, didn't have anything. All he had was a picture of his driver's license. 
And we're like, bro, there's no <laughs> shot you're allowed to get in this fucking no, casino. No Imagine way. not and having like, your driver's license. And like three of us like- Did he have his <laughs> fucking passport? <laughs> he had nothing on him. He literally oh had his phone. God. That might as well have been a note that says, my name Jaime. And a little <laughs> my, piece mom, of paper. my mom said I could I come am in. 12. So yeah, like paper. literally yeah. that. Mom uh, said let me gamble. But bro, getting getting droid over the border was also fucking hilarious. So his name is Jaime, <laughs> which which looks a lot like <laughs> which looks a lot like Jamie. He is very Mexican for context for those that don't know who Droid is. He is a very very Mexican man. And we crossed over. Smitty was in the car behind and we had four of us in each car. We crossed over. And the guy, normally, the shtick is when you go through the border, they'll ask the driver all of the questions, maybe one question to each passenger, just to make sure they're not like, they try to get a judge of if you're super nervous or whatever, you know, trying to hide something. Um, he only asked me where I live, and then went straight to droid in the back seat and went, Jamie. And I was like, oh, his name is actually Jaime. He went, okay, Jamie. And he started asking, <laughs> asking Droid all these questions. He's like, where are you from? How do you know these people? What are you doing here? Like, all these fucking questions. <laughs> didn't ask, I think it was Puffer that was, yeah, Puffer was in the passenger seat. Didn't ask Puffer a single fucking question. Didn't even acknowledge that he was in the car. <laughs> just asking Droid all these questions, and then goes, "All right, you're uh, randomly selected for a COVID test." <laughs> oh my <laughs> so he gives god! Him this box. Uh -huh. He didn't even have to do it. He just, we just like, okay, yeah, sure, we'll fucking do it. And he's like, "Yeah, you got to mail it out to FedEx." And we're like, "Yeah, we're not fucking doing that. Stupid as shit." But yeah, they just, they just picked on the poor boy. Literally, Man. immediately corrected him. Was like, "Nah, his name's Jaime." And he said, "All right, Jamie." And just, <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Damn, <laughs> it was shit. so bad. I was like, "All right, maybe we don't bring you over U.S. borders anymore, buddy. We'll stick to <laughs> we'll stick to Canada and Mexico." <laughs> but yeah, oh. no, it was nice. It was uh, it was good having him here. It was good. Uh, it's always like cool having internet friends come to like where you live. And showing them oh, like yeah. what your normal life is like and what you do and stuff like that. Like I was supposed yeah. to take Grizzly to like my, my gym and stuff, and we were supposed to hang out with my trainer, but that didn't end up going through. But just like having them here and I don't know, going to like the grocery store with them or something. It's just a yeah. cool experience. Just it's normal just, tasks. Yeah, with the normal boys. tasks, but with like yeah. friends you don't normally have around yeah. is always is always fun. So I enjoyed it. You guys it. gotta come to Austin. Yeah, we plan on it. We've uh, we've just they love Toronto. Like I don't know yeah, what fair. specifically Austin. about Toronto, but they absolutely love Toronto. So. That's why they've just immediately were like, yeah, we're coming there. There wasn't even really a conversation. But yeah, I do want to go to I do want to go to Texas. I also want to go to Austin. We know a One lot of day. people in Texas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they're all in like a fucking square. We're all the, yeah, yeah, within like 10 minutes of if each other. If one of them gets doxxed, they all get doxxed. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I woke dude, up. If I get dropped in Austin, so many <laughs> oh, yeah. YouTubers would die. <laughs> oh, dude, we'd have a we'd have a fucking a hold on the market though the goons would be like all that's left because none of us are in texas <laughs> if you nuke if you nuke texas it's us maybe actually wildcat and big jiggly they're in tennessee other than that we got we got full market i don't know dude would be pretty emotionally distraught if i was dead so no he'd be that's right. true no. I, I, I could be his new boyfriend <laughs> i'd be his new boyfriend <laughs> i i would have something to write about be mexican <laughs> and be his new yeah boyfriend. you're gonna get a tan for me <laughs> i can do oh. that oh Look who's messaging. Oh, yeah. who is it? Look, Did he just man. wake up? He woke up from Hold his on, nap. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna guess. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't know what day it was. <laughs> right, he said it. he got his days mixed up. <laughs> run it back. Start it from the beginning. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> I hate this motherfucker so much. It's so predictable. It's fucking clockwork. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I know if I don't hear anything before four o'clock uh, no like, it means he right, slept well, through it yeah. right yeah if, if there's no message by like 405 because we always dick around like we always say four and then even when everybody's here i feel like we dick around at least till like 410 420 ish but if he doesn't message by then he's ain't up he yep. go he dead he, uh, he cleep he cleep it's okay yeah. it's okay to not be here you just we just just heads up you would that's, say that. That's a, a I would say that. You're right. I've been I've been enjoying life. I've been getting out of my my home. Um, the last last few months have been a necessary <clears throat> time for me to to do other shit. Decompression. So, feel it's bad, okay. Dude. You just gotta be. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta gotta let your 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 work partners know what's going on and be transparent. You gotta be around some dude booty to you reach your Gotta be some dude so. booty. Exactly. What's you guys' favorite scary movies? Since it's fall, y'all. 
Oh it's yeah, fall. spooky time. It's oh. fall. Okay, I was gonna wear, oh, was gonna wear a shirt that said that today. It's fall, y'all. I go. No, uh, what's your favorite oh. scary movie has Ghostface on? Oh, that's still kind of dope. Uh, I, what was uh, fuck? I liked The Invisible Man, even though you could. That was see actually the very man. good. That was surprisingly good. Yes, I think Sinister movie. is probably my favorite one. Sinister is really good. I, I, like, I like Sinister. I like, it's got it's got too many like uh, I for some reason I've never really found like the jump scares super scary. Like I'm more into like ooh, long drawn like ah! just genuinely freaky <laughs> shit. Yeah, like that to me is super scary. I feel like Sinister had a lot of that, but they also did have some cheap jump scares. But still, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the scary movies where it's literally just to make just you shit your scared, pants. Yeah. yeah, just constantly. Oh, just like, like more like of something like, like Insidious. I like, uh, just I like yeah. Yeah. suspense. Yeah. I like yeah. um, Disturbia, which is more Disturbia. of like a thriller than it is. Yeah, with like Shia LaBeouf. Oh, what the fuck? No, I've never seen that. How old yeah. is it? Uh, it's it's pretty. This came out like towards the end of when I was in high school or something. Okay, I was gonna um, say. So it's like it's so it's, very old. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, um, yeah, I guess. But yeah, his his neighbor's like a serial killer, and he's like in like spying on him the whole time because he's on house arrest or something but it's more oh, like I've thriller than that. it is it's a pretty good movie huh oh, you know what i don't watch. understand is what? the the female uh obsession with serial killers because you know the whole jeffrey dahmer things going around bro right now. if i ever yeah. get fucking murdered and two white bitches on a podcast oh. talk about me and monetize it i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna fucking <laughs> slit their throats in my as a ghost <laughs> base i i don't understand it it's like They'll they'll I watch. Can fix him. They'll, yeah, I can okay, fix it's him. gotta it, right. It's gotta be that kind of energy. They'll watch it. They'll watch a movie like where where these women get kidnapped at three a.m. Get their their, their throat slit and shit, and then like, oh go God, walk around at that time of night as in like with no fear. Well, I that's like how... uh, what's his face? Um, oh my God, I forget his name. The was it corpse? night? No night corpse. <laughs> yeah, corpse husband. No, uh, <laughs> what was it? Night, 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 Wish. night, 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 night Walker. Night I don't remember what he called himself. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, Night Stalker? Night Stalker. That's what it is. Thank you. I mean, that guy. He was literally the dirtiest, smelliest, yeah. greasiest looking fucking man in the world. Horrible person. Killed people. Broke in while they were sleeping. Like Sounds most, like you're describing me. The most cowardice way possible. He would murder people in their sleep. And then... Um, what a pussy. Yeah. At... At his trial, there was like fangirls there. Like he literally had, yeah. they had to ha like, <laughs> yeah. put like put an extra serial bit killer in groupies for yeah, yeah for them to sit there, and he would just like wave at them. And it's like, bro, what is that? Like, what the women? What it's, is wrong with y'all? Get it's your so heads weird. What out. the hell? I mean, Dahmer no. never killed that bitch. <sighs> I mean, like they killers. are interesting to learn about, like seeing people be that yeah. fucked up. But still, it's I, just, I, like, I enjoy Jesus. watching those on Netflix. Which but is pretty much all the time. Type way. Yeah. No, not yeah. in the like. Just interesting. I'm, I'm jerking off the Dahmer yeah, eating some of his brain. So wet. Yeah. I just wonder if serial killers run into people that are like already suicidal, and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna or kill just, you." Like, just fuck me up. Thank God, man. I've been I've been chickening <laughs> out. So just take care of me. They're like, "Well, I don't want to do it now." Yeah. No. Man. Now you've taken Enjoy all the fun it. out of it. <laughs> Actually, I wonder wasn't if there that's some... ever actually happened. True. How to survive? How to survive <laughs> any murder? Wasn't just there... pretend like you want it. <laughs> What was I just? Uh, what didn't uh, fucking uh, BTK have something like that happen? Um, the BTK this serial killer that's BTK. That's the, oh, uh, I thought that was Stein, the streamer. Group I think it was like Stein Torture Killer or something like that. I think is what it is. Um, I thought he like gave himself a nickname. I don't know if it was him or somebody else, but yeah, like I remember I think you're like thinking a story. Of the K-pop group. I think so. The BTS. <laughs> so, yeah, they they want they like went to kill somebody, and the person was like into it, and they were like. Like raping them, and they were like, "Oh yeah, this goes fucking hard. Keep doing it." And then they were mad and just left <laughs> without killing them. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense because a lot of people they want that like struggle. Well, yeah, it's like a power like, yeah. imbalance yeah. that they're like, "Yeah, I'm fucking powerful because my mom hit me when I was a kid, so I'm gonna rip squirrels in half and then kill a woman when I'm thirty. They beat." Yeah, I'm not really into <laughs> like scary movies and stuff like that. No, I always I feel like I've only okay. seen. I am a little pussy. I feel like I've only seen. <laughs> I feel like I've only seen like shitty ones, though. If you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I've seen a lot. There's a lot of favorite movie ones. is it. Your favorite it? movie is it. It murderous clown type movie. Yes. A little clown guy. I, I saw it and I was like, this is fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah that was, no, that not one terrible. I guess. Then but he does not, a default dance. 
Yeah, yeah that, that, that that part was really fucking weird. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. I was like, bro, <laughs> what is going on? Shit. Yeah, I was just like, what the fuck is happening? I watch Sometimes I feel like when I'm when I've watched them, it feels like I'm watching like Dora. You know what I mean? Because like, if you How? look in the cartoon, <laughs> like the fucking highlighted item is what they're looking for, and it yeah. looks oh. so very obviously different from every yeah. item yeah. Oh, behind yeah. them. It's like, where is the fucking hot dog? <laughs> Where is the hot dog? And it's Say just hot like dog before the I hot dog is right neck. here, you little fucking stupid piece of shit. It's right here. But yeah, I feel like it's that way with scary movies because I I pay attention to shit. I feel like more than the fucking average NPC sitting there like, yeah. you know what I mean? Because well, can- like you can tell when something scary is gonna come because it'd be like, oh, there's just a little riser. Yeah. It's like, well, now I'm not scared at all. I know some shit's about Yeah, I about literally doesn't know something's going to happen. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I, I, I Sorry, go ahead, Vincent. Oh, I was just going to say, that's why I thought, like, Cabin in the Woods was interesting, because they, like, it's like a controlled environment, and they have, like, a basement of all these, like, cursed items, and the people there basically, like, choose what scary, like, monster is going to kill them. I, I I did not watch that movie. My my girlfriend said the ending sucks, so we didn't watch it. The ending sucks, but it's it's definitely like an interesting like format on the scary movie shit. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. There's a lot of good ones out there. Honestly, I feel like the main ones that suck are the ones where like you have like washed up B list celebrities as the cast. You already know that it's just gonna be like awful and just every single scary movie trope. Yeah. But I'm sure if you like look into some deeper ones, there's some people doing cool shit with with the concept of scary movies that don't just rely on like jump scares and stuff like that. Like but... a snuff film. Yeah, exactly. Just go watch some weird porn. It's horrifying. Like someone's got a Sony hand cam in their backyard and they just shotgun their neighbor. That's a pretty scary movie. That'd be a good time. <laughs> Sounds just like a Facebook live stream. <laughs> I think yeah. for suspense, I thought a, a Quiet Place was really fucking good. Probably oh, I love that movie. You, for suspense. Honestly, Did you consider that a you... horror movie though? Suspense, yeah, was yeah suspense. suspense. Seeing it in the movie theaters was horrible because, like, yeah, everyone oh, had to be quiet. Like, someone sneezed and everyone's like, popcorn. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to open a bag of M and M's in the theater. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. It felt very tense. Oh, I hate sitting next to people in the movie theater who have like no fucking care for those around them at the theater. Like this lady, when I watched Black Panther. This lady brought her, like, five kids, and they were all next to us, and the kid was eating Skittles, and it was literally right after, uh, whatever, Michael B. Jordan's character, I forget his name, right after he dies, it's nice, quiet, somber music playing, and this kid's got a mouthful of, like, 15 Skittles at once, and uh, Mm, I'm just fucking sitting there, bro, and I was like, dude, this is just... Why am I here, bro? Like, I just want to watch the film, and this kid's literally slopping. Like, it just... It sounded like a horse licking a sugar cube down. Like, it was just fucking (laughs) disgusting. I hated it. I was so mad. Yeah, Ethan went to watch Boss Baby one time. (laughs) And I'm pretty sure I fell asleep. (laughs) Just passed the fuck out. This might be weird, but I started... Enjoying going to the movies during the day by myself. Oh, yeah, that's lit. I like, nothing weird about that. It's just like if I sit at home and like I'm watching a movie here with like a plate of food because a lot of the movie theaters around here have like recliners and like actual like meals that you can get. Yeah, so I just go out, watch upgrading. a movie, and then come home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've, I've only done that once, but it was like a hella positive experience. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. I went there just because like I wanted the popcorn and then <laughs> I just happened to, to stay for the whole. The whole shtick, but I always fucking order movie theater popcorn. Like, I, I always just have it ordered. Uber Eats uh, delivers it here, and movie theater Uber popcorn Eats just hits movie fucking different. Popcorn? Dude, that's, yeah, dude, it just hits different. Game changer. People get so like mad. They're like, bro, you're paying like twelve dollars for popcorn, but it's so good. It's yeah. worth like, it. All that butter. It, it literally is. There's probably an extra like seven hundred calories of butter on there. But yeah, it's just, baby. It's well, so bottom fucking, of the bag is like Paula Deen's pussy. It literally <sighs> is, and I've never been more happy about. Send in my knuckles she down She stay there. drippy. Mm. That is Honestly, just... I kind of fuck with burnt popcorn a little bit. Like, not a lot. Burnt? Really? You know, like a little crispy piece every once in a while. Get those, get those no. spidey senses tingling. Get that some smell hair stays nuts. around, too. Yeah, get get them nipples protruding. A little, little chew on a burnt <laughs> I think we're eating popcorn. popcorn different. That's fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Uh, also, as for the 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 butter thing, it just reminded me. Uh, it was it was going around on Twitter recently, but it was originally from 4chan. Do you guys see the the post about the dude who put an entire stick of butter up his asshole? No. Yeah, he put like no, salted put like salted butter up his ass to see what would happen. Oh. He was giving like periodic updates, and it started like melting out. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> he started what the hell? started stinging. So he was just what like the? sitting there, said so he was trying to do like a handstand in the shower to get the butter to like. He was trying to give himself like an enema with water. It was like a protest, so they put the Land of Lakes lady back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> true. Put my One dad stick back of butter, butter for every day. <laughs> yeah, he said like butter was like leaking out of his ass onto his mattress and shit, and he had to like put on like two pairs of underwear to walk around because there was this butter profusely leaking out after like hours still. Sometimes the things you do for science. And then, uh, and then apparently he got like vicious uh, stomach contractions and started having violent buttery diarrhea. So, Hell yeah. So, we if you out. were ever thinking about it, comment section, there's a reason to do it. Free diarrhea. Found out last if you want to bring like... back Aunt Jemima, do it with syrup. <laughs> do it I'd with say syrup. Eat, cor- eat kernels, <laughs> though. Eat, syrup eat, the kernels, <laughs> eat the kernels of corn and then put butter up your ass <laughs> for the movie experience. <laughs> The theater experience. <laughs> your asshole will be so warm, you'll oh pop the, the unpopped kernels in your Shit, ass. Bro, that would feel like hell. <laughs> you guys ever, like, take the, the unpopped kernels and just, like, <laughs> like spit them out? Like, I do oh, that with I used my to chew, I used do that to with chew your them. <laughs> I used to chew the kernels. If they were, like, slightly cracked open, I used to just fucking gah, go to town on it. It's a good and time. It's not. It just... I, I feel like I've almost cracked many teeth on them, so I don't do that anymore, but... They tasted good. Mm. It, was a, it was a satisfying feeling. Titty aids. That's true. We found out you, last night on TikTok that uh, you can apparently have your butthole removed. What do you yeah. mean removed? Where would they... What, 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 hold they, on. They like, can you they dissect like, that a little? So I was just scrolling through my For You page and I got some leakage over from Do's like, section of the For You page. <laughs> and some girl had some like fissures in her ass that like every time she oh. shit it like got infected so she had to have her large intestine and rectum like completely removed they sewed up the hole and then she has like a shit bag that she carries around. oh oh <laughs> yep poo bag honestly Dude. that sounds more efficient because you could just be walking through the fucking grocery store and just <laughs> and shit, you just, I'm shit and right you now. just take the bag off and throw it over the aisle <laughs> Coming Bring back the shit loaded. warfare. <laughs> yeah, just put another one on. <laughs> no, one, <laughs> no one would ever know. No one would ever know until you take your shit bag off and throw Bro, it over the aisle. You just imagine put another like one on just... hanging out with that person and they're like sitting on your couch and like, oh, I got a oh. shit. And then just, okay, I'm done. <laughs> make that specific that's what it's like hanging out with Dewey. Oh, all right, I'm all done. It's like, bro, I never on. needed a bag. I just do that. <laughs> Remember, swapping oh, poo God. bags is faster than reloading. God. <laughs> It'd just be so that odd. is uh that it's is just an odd statement. Just the Barbie well, ass. Well, that was yeah. uh, an Swagger, asshole removed. Swagger was telling us during a CS session. I don't know if you guys remember this about the dude who had a hole essentially in his. Uh, I think it was, it would have been his intestine and nuts. It was like fused together. But every time he would come, mm. it would fall out of his ass. Oh instead of his yeah, dick. yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> what? So, like, every time he busted, dude, you were. I thought you were there. Maybe you weren't. Dude, you but, were there. Every time he busted, Remind it me. would just come out of his ass. So there'd be like cum leakage. He'd, he'd Maybe cream he was pie just covering himself. up for being gay. He was cream pie himself every <laughs> I day. I think that's what, what I said. Fuck? I think that was the or one of us said that. There was a like we said something about that being a cover up for him being gay. I'm just yeah, wired he, wrong, bro. He's that's just, it. He's just taking just loads in the ass butter. and goes to the doctor. It's like, nah, bro. This is not this is somebody. This is not somebody else. This is mine. Gotta be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What the fuck? That is fucking insane. You go to get a colonoscopy, the doctor's just like, God damn, this is one gay motherfucker. <laughs> right there, just, dude coming so hard, coming out his ass. <laughs> Have that you guys is... ever had a colonoscopy? No, I haven't needed one. No. I'm, I'm, I'm 25, not, oh, not no. 52. Wait, yeah, what, I'll be, I'll what I'll be 25 this month. I think it's 50. It's 50 when you have to get them. Four, right? well, well, I'm getting mine early. I'm going to get mine when I turn 30. Oh, uh, you've been getting them your whole life. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> well, my uncle isn't necessarily licensed, the but he does, GoPro he does on the He's been digging. <laughs> he was looking for stuff. <laughs> yeah, my colon's empty. It's clean. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's I, I have neat. never it's had tight. one. That's scary. Uh, I'm 29. Although they're, 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 they're good to have. They, they Why suck are you getting one of early, of dude? Uh, free butt sex. <laughs> what do he do? Why is he? Why is he locked up? 
free the homie. Free butt sex. <laughs> free <the> butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> what so do you think he did, Clark? I'll give you one guess. What do you think butt sex did? <laughs> Admiral butt sex. Major gay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, uh, do we, do we want to end it on Major Gay, or has anyone else got anything exciting to add? I, I think, think butthole removal bad. was my last uh, thing. Yeah, all right, that's, that was, all, that's all, all right, we got that's, for today. What a good way to end. All right, <laughs> so do the outro. You know? Well, oh, no, another, going? Not another hot dog. Ah! Ah! This is what will happen to you if you don't like and subscribe! And For our Spotify listeners, a giant and bass and attack suit. He has a Spotify. massive bass in his hand. Uh, uh, like and subscribe and download. Holds bass towards camera. <laughs> On Spotify. Go to Spotify and confused. download. Download the podcast on Spotify or a large mouth bass will fuck you in your ass. <laughs> uh, uh. Also, Gibson, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, Gibson, thank beautiful. you for coming. We'll leave uh, Gibson's links down in the description. Go check him eh. out. He makes good music, good content. Eh. Okay, eh. all right. You know what? We won't code do any of that. Code goons on G-Subs. Use code goons on g Stop code. eating the raw hot Stop dogs. Stop eating more hot dogs. Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you Release in the next one. Subscribe to a new hot dog. <laughs> yeah, what? what he said. Goodbye. <laughs> sure. <laughs>